Skarloey storms through. In the summer, the high hills of Sodor are Skarloey's favorite place. There are flowers and forests and fields full of sheep and farmers who wave as Skarloey chuffs by. But in the winter, it's very different in the hills. There is rain and wind, and sometimes there are bad storms. One rainy day, Skarloey was delivering cars of slate. He saw a farmer up ahead by the tracks. There's an emergency, he shouted. A big storm is coming. We have to get the sheep down from the hills. We need the engines to help. Skarloey wanted to help, so he puffed quickly away to the depot. He had to tell the other engines that there was an emergency. When Skarloey arrived at the depot, his friends Reneas and Peter Sam were there. So was Mr. Percival. Skarloey told him about the storm. First, said Mr. Percival, you must collect the freight cars and take them to the top of the hill. Then, pick up the sheep and bring them safely down the hill to the farmers. Yes, sir, peeped Reneas and Peter Sam. They couldn't wait to get started. As Scar Louie was being uncoupled from the slate cars, there was a flash of lightning and a roar of thunder. Scar Louie was scared of the thunder and lightning, but he didn't want to tell his friends. He didn't want to look silly. Reneas and Peter Sam blew their whistles bravely as they puffed off to collect their freight cars. Skarloey tooted his whistle as hard as he could, but it didn't sound very brave at all. The three little engines arrived at the bottom of the hill with their freight cars. Then there was an even louder roar of thunder. Skarloey's wheels wobbled. He was very frightened. Here I go, puffed Reneas, and he bravely chuffed up the hill. I'm coming too, tooted Peter Sam, and he puffed off bravely after his friend. Skarloey watched his friends disappear into the storm. He didn't feel as brave as the other engines. I'm too scared to go up the hill with them, Skarloey puffed quietly, and with a sad puff of steam, Skarloey reversed down a siding and hid. Skarloey waited. 